Let's see how we can set up Python 3.1, 2.1 in Visual Studio Code and how we can create our first Python project and run it. First, go to this URL, hover over this downwards button, you only to click on this. Now, as you can see, you will see this option, Python 3.1, 2.1. Click on this and your Python 3.12 will start. Now click on open file to open your installer. Click on add python.exe to path and click on install now. If you are asked if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, click on yes. Now as you can see, you will see this message, setup was successful. Now you can click on close and your python is successfully installed. Now let's check our python version. Type python double dash version and as you can see, our python is now successfully installed. Now that we have installed Python in our system, let's open Visual Studio Code and install necessary extensions to run Python. Open a Visual Studio Code and let's open a new folder where we will create a project that will contain our Python file or Python code. Right, so I'll just go to desktop and create a new folder here and call it myPyPROJCT. Right, and click on select folder. So as you can see here, my project is open, but there is no file here because we have not created any file. So let's create a main.py file. Now this main.py file will contain our code. So immediately, as you can see here, you'll see a message that says, do you want to install the recommended Python extension? You can click on install or you can click on show recommendations. But for now, I'll just close this and I'll show you how you can do it manually because you need to learn how to do it manually. So here, let's say we want to write Hello world, right? Hello world from Python. Save this. Now go to extensions and search for Python. So we have our Python code. Now let's see how we can execute this. Click on this and click on install. Now this will install the Python code formatting, refactoring and all that stuff with a Python debugger. As you can see, this debugger is also installing. So let's wait until this is finished. So as you can see here, the extension is now installed. Now you can go back to your file, right? You can close this extension. Now to run this, click on run and then click run without debugging. Now you will be asked what to do. Click on Python debugger and it will give you this message. You need to select a Python interpreter before you start debugging, right? Because we have not selected any interpreter. For that, click on change Python interpreter and we just installed Python 3.1, 2.1, right? These three, I already had those installed. So click on this one that we just installed. Click on this. And as you can see down here, 3.1, 2.1 is now selected. Now you can just click on run and run without debugging and Python debugger. And this time our Python code, as you can see, is being executed and hello world from Python is printed. Now you can write any Python code here. Let's say a equals to input, enter number here, and we print the number into 10. Now let's run this. And as you can see, it is saying enter number here. Let's input 67. And now we have 670 printed because we are multiplying that number with 10. So this is how you can set up Python and write Python code in Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.